All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm still doing another video for today. Um, you, uh, not UPS, USPS just dropped this off. Um, I know this is another BFS rod. Uh, well, I know it's an ultralight rod. I'm trying to find something. Um, I mean, I've got a couple rods I like that I want to take to the creeks, but this is more like a creek fishing rod, the short rods. Um, it's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm kind of liking the feel of this rod, the, the run, rungle, runsel, whatever it's called, runsel. It's kind of whippy. I like the feel of the, of the um, uh, Montiva bass rod. Um, I've got a couple of Montiva rods I like to, try, like to feel of. Um, I like to feel that Rancy rod. Uh, I showed this to you in another video as well. Uh, with this one here. All right, so, uh, but it's very much kind of like the um, hand handle or hand eye or whatever you want to call it, uh, magical rod. Let's put my glasses back on. All right, so this is the streamer 582 light. This is the Lure Star one. This is what I thought the um, I thought this rod right here because I ordered this rod way before I ordered this one. Um, get stuff untangled. I'm sorry. I thought, really? Come on now. Why is it? There it goes. This little rod here, the um, CHI, this little $24 rod with the little wooden handles. I mean, this thing is a whippy thing. It's whippy. That's like one of the softest rods I've seen in a long time. That's what she said? All right. Um, I really like the look of this rod online. Let's get this stuff put away. Something in there. Ah, feels like something's in there. Maybe it's just a plastic sleeve that that was in. Okay. This is a plastic sleeve that was in. All right, so let's put this away. We'll set that to the side. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that looks nice right there, homie. Oh yeah. And of course they send you a user manual in all Chinese. That's kind of what Lure Star does anyway. It's always an all Chinese. It says user manual. I don't know why user manual is in English. But every other little bit. Well, there's some there's some there's some English on here. Okay. Not very much, but there is some. Alright, so that comes in a really nice bag. It's almost like neoprene, but it's more like suede. I'm gonna set that to the side for now. Set that to the side for now. Look at this handle, guys. Got a nice, like, rosewood accent ring. Rosewood accent ring here. And, like, some powder shell. That little handle fits really nice in hand, too. How soft is the tip? That is nowhere near as soft as I thought it was gonna feel. It's like I'm getting bit by spiders or something. I was in my, I was in the other side of the building over there. 
It was, it was spidery. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. It was spidery as hell. Spidery as hell. All right, so let me see something here. Um, let's see what's going to look best on here. Should I put a silver feather on here? That actually looks and feels really good. Yeah. I need to put the rod together just so I can be certain of some stuff. These are sea guides. Hero high grade, marine, marine grade SS 316 frame material, perfect design with permanent features, Prim, uh, permanent features, I'm sorry, maximizing fishing rods performance. All right. Okay, the ferrule fits on there really nice. All right. All right, how many guides does this have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 guides on a five foot eight rod. Yeah, this is, this is actually really nice. I really like this rod. Notice, well, no, it's, 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 this is my, how my eye was looking at it. Some of these two piece rods, I wish they would have something on the ferrules right here. A lot of times I take a, a white pen and put a mark, I get a, a, a level, and just kind of make a white mark straight down so I can line them straight back up again. Just makes it easy, easier to line up. It's got a lot of nice little brass rings in it. Okay, so I can just show you kind of how this rod bends. Um, I mean, it's a really light action. It's a light action rod. It's not ultra light. And it has a way firmer tip than I thought it was going to have. So this little guy right here will be pretty much about good for throwing just about any damn thing you want. Um, it says on here, 3 to 12 grams, uh, 1.72 meters, uh, 3 to 8 pound line, or 3 to 8 pound fluorocarbon is what it says here, then PE line. 0.6 to 1.0. Yep. Sounds about right. Okay, so let me try a couple other reels on here, see how they feel. Set that there. This is, it don't, hmm. This is the arise. It don't close up on there good. The silver feather, which I always thought kind of a thick foot. I guess this one has an even thicker foot. All right, let's just uh, get all my answers out of the way. I'm going to throw this on there real quick. If I throw it on there right, I'll be better. That's a little dragon. Not dragon, but it's a GIU. There's a picture of a dragon on there. I need to rewalk this line out, make it back tight again. That's a different color red.
Okay. Do I have any other reels sitting around I want to try on here? Um. I really would like to see what that lungs that fits on here. Yeah, just, I'm not gonna undo everything. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it from here for a minute. I'm gonna let some line out of this puppy. I'll let that sit there for a minute. All right, let's see how this fits on here. Man, that fits really nice in hand. Look at that. So, I really like this reel here, this Lunza. Um, I mean, they did a really good job on this reel. It is very comparable to this. This is the Shallow Spool Edition. Um, and oh i think it's sitting back here yep and that's the bfs i'm sorry that's bfs this is the shallow spool edition here uh the, the calcutta all right so let me set this down let's uh, set this back over here I kind of wish it was bronze to kind of match these rings and stuff. But I think it looks really good. I mean, it's real, this rod is pretty impressive for what you're getting for it, uh, especially with most of these things are little whip sticks. Um, but this right here, um, you could bring lots of different things with you. Um, you could bring you could throw little flukes on it. You could throw little Texas rigs on if you wanted to. Um, pretty much anything you want to throw on it. You can, that's not anything, but any, any BFS kind of gear you want to throw on it, you can throw on it. Um, so there you go. I think I'm going to put... Um, Oh, well, I put them over there. Um, I think I'm putting that Solatine Acker on here, but I think this right here is probably the perfect setup for this rod. That silver feather right there. And I think here's the end cap here for you. Lure star. Oh, sorry. Tired. It is like two in the morning right now. I just came back out because I was looking for a step stool for my wife and I couldn't find that, but I was like, mm, let's go do this real quick. Um, so, but yeah, there you go. Um, I do think that looks incredibly good. Um, it balances very well. It balances right there at the nut. It feels very good in the hand. It'd be really nice to get out there and just throw this around. This is like the perfect five foot eight, perfect rod you gotta throw at the creek. Zip, 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 zip. I feel like I'm acting crazy right now, but it is what it is. All right, guys, I'll link this down below so you can get you one. Um, I do think I kind of would recommend this rod. This rod feels, this is one, um, I've had plenty of Lure Star rods in the past. Or lure? No, this is the rod I have. Lure star. Or lure. I think it was lure star. Yeah. Um. This is the best feeling one so far. 
Pull that mess off. Yep. I'm gonna throw some line on this puppy and get out there and have some fun. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put this down now and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys, till the next time, y'all stay safe. Tight lines.